Hello everyone. Welcome to the next edition of the show Language Talks. Let's meet an experienced writer and translator today with a good command of languages and with more than 25 years of experience writing ad copy, articles, scripts, press releases and so on. He writes it in English and Malayalam. He writes it for ad agencies and production companies. He has worked as a director, scriptwriter, creative consultant for more than 30 short films. He has done translations of several books. He also translates brochures, manuals, film scripts, etc. Let's talk to him and understand his journey. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Welcome. I forgot to mention your name. Uh, he is Mr. Suresh Menon. Thank you. Sir, I would like to ask by uh, about the ad copy, which is an art, and what is the skill set required for that? Because I'm very curious about uh, writing advertisement copies. You know, it's a very uh, creative and uh, I think tiring art. So, ad copies basically, uh, you know, it's uh, intended to. Uh, inspire people mm -hmm. to take action mm -hmm. mostly uh, there will be some call for action mm -hmm. in an so okay. it may be a print or a video or something there will be some image or mm -hmm. uh, we associate with the copy mm -hmm. so copy uh, will be some, in some way related to that and uh, explaining the advantages or merits or the selling points in a very very short and brief uh, content you know it, it has to be but it must catch the attention of the viewers or audience and uh, inspire them prompt them to take action so uh, the main important thing in writing ad copies is to Uh, condense, uh, you know, some of uh, of the good properties or whatever is the highlight USP into uh, many uh, such a little uh, one word phrase or sentence or at the most a paragraph mm -hmm. and uh, across, uh, such a language suits the medium whether it's a magazine, is a newspaper or TV or it's uh, it will be different and the target audience. Uh, may be different, so we we must use that language which uh, they can connect very easily. So mm -hmm. there will be a result. Uh, there will be conversion. Viewers will, will be inspired or prompted to take action. Uh, there will be uh, mostly you may have noticed there will be a call call for action. Buy it, now. join now, or something like that, which is oh. a <laughs> call for action. And the uh, lines preceding that will be. The points which uh, you know convert the minds of the uh, readers to take that action. So, okay. So I think, uh, and what is the skill set required for this to write this ad copy? Language. Uh, there, you know, it must be up to date in uh, this <laughs> lingo, uh, normal terms used in conversations, the mm -hmm. current uh, usages, which you may not find in uh, dictionaries or thesaurus. Which is usually uh, talked by people. It will be uh, most uh, successful ad copies are using uh, such language which is commonly used, currently used by the general public, which is not uh, traditional dictionary uh, terms or something like that. You must have a, a good uh, vocabulary mm -hmm. and a, a general knowledge of uh, the product or service or whatever you are selling. So you may be getting. Uh, Different types of well, one may be for a jewelry, other may be for a pharmaceutical thing, or you must have a general idea of everything uh, so that you know how to uh, promote that, uh, how to use uh, the best words for that. So uh, reading and uh, uh, collection of good vocabulary and uh, stylage, the style of usages, that's all needed and uh, some. Uh, Out of the box thinking, creative thinking. Okay, great. Yes, uh, sir, you have written articles. So, what are the things one must keep in mind while writing articles? Article writing has to be 
to see in the uh, internet and uh, mm-hmm. any uh, real writing or creative writing it just collects a uh, lot of data or information from uh, several sources and arrange it in a presentable manner that's all <laughs> that writing is uh, happening nowadays yeah. in traditional article writing you must uh, do a lot of research study the topic or content and appropriate language which uh, suits that uh, content and get in a presentable easily readable okay. and uh, way that's all art is that no, not much uh, of a creative uh, thing in article writing okay okay yeah then uh, is there any difference while writing for print media and writing for digital media because i think you have been writing for both media there's a lot of difference you know print media is traditional print uh, like if you read a book or uh, watch a movie it's different the book or the printed uh, matter is uh, very strong and it stays it stays in our eyes in our brain in our mind and we can see it and read it again and again the impression power of printed word is much more than uh, a digital uh, media uh, effect it stays there so mm-hmm. you have to be more careful about uh, the use of uh, even a slight small mistake or i think it will uh, affect the thing mm-hmm. and it, it has to be we have to be more careful and we have to take more time the in the digital media uh, you know it's, it's easier but there are limitations of uh, space time etc and uh, uh, we have to somehow try to convey what we want to say in in within that limits so the quality of uh, writing will be over i think in my opinion uh, digital media in print media we can revise it change it and, and polish it and uh, get the best result finally before going to print and it should stay there in the media we don't have that uh, advantage so we will look for quicker results easier flashy result rather than the quality of language yes okay. yeah very nice information and uh, sir before asking you further questions about your translations and scripts uh, i would like to ask you about your uh, journey back then when did you start learning languages and how did you decide to take up this career well uh, i i stumbled up on it i think okay uh, i not studied uh, any language did uh, it properly my education was engineering electrical engineering and uh, uh, at the degree stage we study some languages there's no but, but, but even while in school uh, stage we, I, i was a good reader i read books lot of books uh, uh, that was only linguistic background then even in college i was interested in movies uh, films uh, photography and all that and i was working i even worked as an assistant director for a, a director of uh, short films uh, while i was a student so after leave uh, engineering college i went to uh, i didn't join any job i went to chennai as you know which is called the mecca of south indian film industry and uh, i was like that to work as an associate cameraman or assistant director uh, but uh, no roamed around for uh, about a few months then my parents thought it was not good for my future so they found me a job in dubai i i went there as an engineer for uh, about 5 years came back and started on my own doing uh, film uh, related works uh, movie uh, short films art film making editing or things then while working for uh, some advertise i didn't I, and i was freelancing actually i was doing for uh, two or three uh, ad film making uh, production houses advertising agencies and all so uh, while uh, you know then it, uh, when i was not very busy with these things i was uh, just was surfing through internet and found that there's a lot of opportunities uh, in translation mm-hmm. different types of translation so i started all uh, online translation jobs mm-hmm. and then uh, 
and uh, now the main translation work is for uh, the operates their brochures booklets in a, in a office communications and all sorts of things which comes in uh, daily and i uh, do it daily it's not very creative work just uh, the translate it has been given to mechanical work yeah so which work do you like more this technical translation or literary well, do you literary translation uh, definitely but i am got any uh, real mentionable literary work for translation still now hmm. on only book i can uh, proudly uh, talk about is the secret uh, you might have heard of the okay. secret on the bird yeah very uh, you no know, top selling motivational book it's not a work of fiction or uh, literature it's a motivational book hmm. but a very different kind of book that translation it was successful in malayalam also and i i am happy that i could do justice to the original book that's all other others are history political historical books which are not available uh, i would love to do some uh, literary literature some uh, good author or uh, some great uh, you know famous literary works right right that is more uh, engaging and creative and also satisfying we can do something in in that mm-hmm, right and in the technical domains uh, which ones do you do automobile act, uh, mainly automobile the uh, daimler benz maruti suzuki mahindra uh, also they all sent you know their training material uh, inter office communications instructional manuals and uh, experience and all that Okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> so you have also written scripts. Uh, so, yes. Yes. So please tell us about it. Uh, the script writing, uh, you know, uh, that word is it's a very broad classification. Hmm. Uh, writing a, a script, a screenplay for a full-length movie, and uh, writing a script for a, a TV commercial is entirely different. The, okay. The, so there are basics of script writing but mm-hmm. uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't uh, these rules doesn't there are some certain set of rules but uh, in every great director or script writer breaks the rules and uh, then only something will happen uh, heard of uh, tarantino uh, famous film maker he's uh, he, he breaks all almost all known rules of writing and direction and get something but that uh, that's exceptional cases people get that. but there are certain rules uh, when they teach in institute uh, how to uh, introduce the atmos uh, backdrop background introduce characters uh, establish their uh, nature or uh, reality establish the purpose then uh, uh, come to the point uh, come to the the lot set of rules but in a uh, film script in a fictional film feature film uh, there's more uh, the there are so, uh, so many different genre of uh, films the writing techniques are entirely different mm-hmm. uh, for a musical uh, entertainer musical movie the script writing pattern will be uh, you know very slow rhythmic pattern and uh, Uh, to develop in a certain manner but in a thriller or a suspense drama the writing style will be entirely different basically in more uh, what uh, the basic rule is try to communicate through visuals rather than narration or commentary is the narration commentary is to be used only to uh, or as necessary to support the mission mm-hmm. actor can a good writer or director can communicate the whole story or thing even without uh, audio mm-hmm. if the visual uh, are written properly mm-hmm. but in documentary films mm-hmm. visual uh, will be very plain just showing what is uh, being narrated or uh, what what is the commentator is showing so the over mm-hmm. narration and dialogues are more important in a documentary sort of films 
if you have seen the visuals will be some montages uh, showing uh, what our things and the commentary or the narration will be more important uh, which has to tell a lot of story to the audience for even for one picture there will be paragraphs uh, to be watched uh, so it's a wide a broad uh, classification okay good price okay right so uh, what challenges uh, do you face when uh, you are translating books or other uh, manuals uh, i will try to uh, do justice to the original that is uh, original book uh, will have a mood or a, a character or a style or approach and uh, in our language uh, to get the same uh, thing in the same mood or atmosphere or style is very difficult mm. the uh, translation can be done word to word or sentence to sentence it will convey the meaning it will uh, but it will not feel, uh, give the feel with the original author meant mm. so uh, that's a very challenging thing to uh, for a uh, person who reads both english and malayalam mm. if, uh, if i can give him the same feel mm. when he read malayalam as he felt uh, reading in english that will be a successful translation mm. or you know that's very, very difficult in uh, languages like uh, south indian languages mm -hmm. um, uh, what said in uh, one word or phrase in english may be very full very impressive so in in order to get that feel in malayalam we may have to write a long sentence or even a paragraph to communicate that so mm -hmm. to get the equal uh, impact or effect mm -hmm. it's very challenging mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the spirit of the of the main content the content yeah. <laughs> what do you like to read i mean uh, which authors or any particular genre or language uh, my most uh, favorite author is hemingway oh okay hemingway, uh, in english and uh, i read only english and malayalam uh, most uh, hemingway then uh, Uh, you know, uh, P.G. Woodhouse. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> then there are uh, a lot of others, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, the first name uh, it comes to my mind is. I would like to know from you, how does one uh, try to be good at a language? It could how, be any language. Yes. How does how one do that? Read. Uh, okay. Read. or and uh, read uh, all sorts of things of fiction everything read mm -hmm. more and more that's the only way to get good at in any language reading that's reading. not okay uh, what But, changes do you see in the industry changes uh, no uh, uh, not much actually is okay. uh, more or less uh, same happening and nothing has changed uh, really some okay. uh, Other changes only. Okay. So, do you plan to learn any more languages? Well, uh, I don't think uh, I can do it. I'd like to learn more languages. Uh -huh. That uh, I I can understand. I can read and write a little bit of Hindi just to communicate if I go to some place in North India. But that's not enough. I have to read if I want to read or write something. I would like to learn. Um, mm -hmm. Hindi or some other Indian languages, and okay. uh, but uh, I, uh, right now my lifestyle, I don't think it will allow me to uh, uh, dedicate more time to studying or learning. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, what would be your advice to aspiring translators or script writers or? uh i mean they want to do something in the language field yes uh, this very uh, difficult question you know we, anybody you know we, we cannot uh, say the any one who is uh, trying to language or writing must uh, make uh, 
So they must have a critical approach. Re read his or her own writings with a critic point of view, reject uh, and uh, refuse whatever is not right. No, most people cannot uh, edit or criticize our own writing. And, uh, so it must be critical. We, we must uh, fix some standards. And if our own writing or the thing is not up to that standard, we must strike it off and do again and again till we are satisfied with uh, our result. Then only uh, come out and publish something. Just uh, start writing uh, what was you know, inspired or feeling that thing. It must be uh, uh, be professional. Uh, write, write a lot and uh, you know after reading. If, if you are not 100% satisfied, throw it away, put it again. And uh, after some time, if you feel that it's good enough to uh, be presented, then only come out and uh, start writing. The, it will be accepted. If you start public, uh, that's the uh, main problem. There's a change. The Facebook and uh, all sort of, uh, anyone can publish anything. So, yeah. so people start uh, writing whatever they uh, feel like in, uh, and yeah. they don't try to improve their language, they don't try to develop skills or anything. The public is so easy. So, uh, it, uh, you know, the quality is of, uh, of writing, because everybody has become writers now yes. and is, uh, is a reader. First become a reader, uh, read, uh, criticize, evaluate, then uh, become a writer. Uh, after becoming a good reader and a good critic, will be a good writer. Okay, yes, that is very helpful. Indeed. <laughs> great. It was lovely talking to you, sir. Thank you very much. And it's a great uh, opportunity for me to uh, have this uh, meeting uh, with uh, with your, your channel, which is, I know I have uh, heard, I have read about you. Okay. So uh, we uh, viewed at the channel. I, uh, it's a great honor uh, for me, for uh, uh, a person like me to get this opportunity. Thank you, thank you very much. And uh, uh, to everybody else. I think. Thank you so much for joining, sir. Have thank a good you. day. Thank you so much.